how'd you get here? I would like to reiterate that this game is mediocre. It is a, it is a solid 5 out of 10. Maybe 6 if you want to be really nice, okay? 6 is... <laughs> Fucking, it, it's pushing it, but if you want to be really nice, right? Okay, I have to, I have to say that, I have to say that because I want to talk about something that might get me castrated in the Sonic community, and I just, I want to, I want to reiterate where I am on this game. I don't like this game. All right, I think it's mediocre. But how quickly people forget, bro. How quickly people forget the state that this community, this franchise was in. How, how quickly motherfuckers forget that we had Sonic in the Secret Rings. That we had an entire era of Sonic games that were just not good. Like, yeah, maybe they weren't the worst thing known to men. Maybe, maybe, you know, random fucking YouTubers, uh, <laughs> like, inflated the level of dog shit that the Sonic community was facing in, in like, the, I don't know, early-ish, not really early 2000s, more mid-2000s, right? 2010s-ish, maybe? I don't know. That's some nebulous time period that people still hold on to. There was, there was an era where Sonic games were notoriously really bad, and the Twitter funny man would take to the streets and say, well, Sonic is dog shit, and we don't exist in that era anymore, okay? People will still say Sonic is bad without touching a Sonic game. That's, that's damage that's been done by the same community that perpetuated this, this kind of 2010s shit where it's like, it was, the Sonic was never good, look at how bad these games are, because they, you know, didn't really know anything about Sonic and they were just kind of spouting shit, but TLDR, right? The Twitter funny man. <laughs> the Twitter funny man uh, it latched on to this era, right? And when this game came out, I feel like people, the Twitter, the Twitter funny man, once again took hold of our community, and people forgot. Well, I'm fucked. Yeah. Oh my God. There's really no escaping that. Because you can't spin dash. If you try to spin dash, you're just gonna jump. So, like, if you fuck that up and the momentum, you can't, like, if you jump in midair, and unless you're being pushed by this conveyor belt, like, you're not gonna get any form of movement in the air. You just kind of have to, you're, you're fucked. You're just, TLDR, you're fucked if you, if you get hit once and, by this red bullshit. But anyways, um, the Twitter funny man took hold of that, that 20, 20 whatever's era where we had games like Sonic and the Secret Rings. Right? That's the big one. That's the big one that I think people kind of talk about. Sonic 06, yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> Sonic and the Secret Rings, though. It, it's Sonic 06 and Sonic and the Secret Rings. Those are the big ones, right? People take hold of that, and they... I love bottomless pits, thanks. Uh, they, they take hold of that, and then they look at games like this that have minor issues, and they conflate it with that. They conflate it with that era, a game that is so painfully mediocre, and they conflate it with these games that, j like, ruined an entire g franchise's image. Like, come on, this this game. I think people need to put into perspective, right? The quality of this game within relation to the quality of a lot of other games that exist. Because people will like look at this in relation to, to fucking Unleashed and Colors and, and Generations and whatever and be like, this is dog shit. And that's, that's so valid, that's so valid. This is worse than any other Boost Formula Sonic game we have ever received. But you wanna fucking power scale this within the entire realm of the Sonic franchise and say it's one of the worst games ever created in the franchise? Are you kidding me? Are you- I don't care that the game has no soul. <laughs> I don't care- Cause I'm playing the game and I wanna have fun playing the game. And oh my god. You cannot sit down and play Secret Rings and tell me, and tell me, that that game is fun to play. <laughs> you could, you, you want to conflate it with that? Are you insane? The, okay, this is an issue that a lot of franchises have. This is an issue that I think, I mean, okay, the, the general way people perceive a franchise will dictate the infallibility people think it has, right? Uh, let's let's jump ship from Sonic for a little bit to talk about Zelda, okay? I swear to God this will circle back around, okay? Breath of the Wild came out, blew people's balls clean off their body, bro. Those hairy nuts were flying because that game was so good. It was so good. And at that point, the worst we had gotten was what? 
Skyward Sword. For those of you who don't know, the worst that game did, it's not a soul. It was still fun. It was still way better than, than anything this game has ever done for this franchise. But it was kind of in, in a similar boat, where it was like... It was a solid, maybe like, all right, maybe not the same boat. It was like a seven out of ten. I thought it was pretty fucking good, <laughs> but like, people were not in love with it because it just kind of was a watered down version of what we had gotten before, with better dungeons, to be fair. But like, you know, there's shit here and there, right? Um, and it, it was just watered down. We had gotten better before. That's that's the whole gist of that shit, right? And then we got Breath of the Wild, and it was insane. It was amazing. It was actually kind of the the pipeline from this game to Frontiers is effectively <laughs> a very similar pipeline uh, from Skyward Sword to to fucking uh, you know what I'm saying, Breath of the Wild. Jesus Christ, I love this stage. By the way, this stage is actually so sick. Like the stuff you can do here if you know where, what, when, and where to jump. It's really fun because you can stay on this high pathway, go really fast, and then it gives you a lot of opportunities to kind of uh, jump over these spinning spiral things, and then we'll check it out. Like, oh my God, you you just skipped a lot of stuff. You know, it's fast. Oh my God. Anyways. TLDR, this part's not fun. The 3D sections are pretty dog shit, <laughs> but everything else, you know, I think the 2D section at the beginning is pretty fun. And then you have to stop boosting here, and that caught a lot of people, and yeah, yeah, I mean, that's fair. When have you ever had to stop boosting in this game? I, th I think that's a fair complaint to have. You know what? No, we're going to try it again, and I'm going to show you my fun little section. By the way, I, f I will finish the thought that I had in my head. Like, that's what I was talking about. Do a little bit of that action. Bam, check that out. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that rocks my socks off. Like, that type of stuff is really fun. Oh, and I could have done it there. But then you get stuck on the 2D plane, so you can't do it. You have to do it right. You have to remember the first time. You have to do it correctly. Anyways, um... What was I saying? Oh, okay. Zelda! We're back on it, Zelda! Uh, there... There was a very similar pipeline, but anyways... Zelda... You know, it was pretty infallible at that point, right? Because the worst we had gotten was like a solid 7 out of 10 experience that was just a watered-down version of stuff. It, w it was just a, a very, at worst, mediocre Zelda experience. That's a pretty fucking infallible franchise, man. Like, that's pretty good. And then we got Tears of the Kingdom. Which, you know, I don't think this is an, a very particularly... Uh, no, I'm doing it again. <laughs> just, let me, just let me have this one! Let me have this one! Um... I don't think it's unpopular at this point to say Tears of the Kingdom, if you played Breath of the Wild, is kind of fucking dog shit. <laughs> like, it is... It doesn't do anything new. I, like, I don't even think I would go back to playing Tears of the Kingdom over Breath of the Wild. Yeah, there was more content, but there were a lot of things here. And to cut it short, there were a lot of things that just completely bungled the fucking experience. It was bad. It was bad for long-time Zelda fans. And if you hadn't played Breath of the Wild, it's a pretty good game. And even if you had, it's, it's, it's a fine game. But, like, that is a series low. But what happened when that game came out? What happened when Zelda Dick Riders saw that game, bro? They were sucking. They were- I have never seen gobbling that intense in my fucking life! You wanna see what Copium looks like? Oh my god, it's the Zelda community after a mediocre game. Oh my god, because no, no, Z Nintendo can't do wrong when it comes to Zelda. I'm so fucked. Okay, I'm not retrying. We're just gonna rock it. We're just gonna rock it. But I have never seen Cock Goblin like in the Zelda community. It is insane. It is absolutely insane. When Tears of the Kingdom came out, I was one- Okay, I was a hipster. I was one of the few people that knew Tears of the Kingdom was not great. Sorry about that cut. <laughs> you guys just don't know what it's like to have a loving family that walks in on me and says, Hey man, I just wanted to tell you that I love you today. You don't fucking know what that feels like, Zelda fans. Because all you got- Oh my god, there's no way. Uh, I can't restart. I can't restart. I can't restart. I cannot restart. Uh, uh look. <laughs> Fuck, what was I saying? Oh yeah, loving families. Zelda fans don't have that shit, bro. They they have Miyamoto sitting there on his back, like saying, "Ah, oh, you gotta do this." No, I held back. What? Um, one more time. Don't you make fun of me in the? If you make fun of me in the YouTube comments, I will fucking destroy you.
I will I will block you. Frame one. Besides, I didn't get the perfect run anyways in this first part because there's this, and then I have to get the other one too. So it's fine. It's fine. It really, this is just to show off the optimal run. That's all it really is. It's not because I'm hanging up at all. That's not, that's not it. I just wanted to do that. That's all I wanted to do. Anyways, you have not seen unloved children until you see the fucking Zelda fandom because they act like their abusive father just came back and the fucking Stockholm syndrome hits and they're like, no, 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 no. I've always loved them. I've always loved them. I, Miyamoto loves me. Miyamoto, loves you don't get it. You don't get it. And they sit there and they defend dog shit. They defend a dinner from fucking McDonald's. They'll be like, my no, he came back with a five-star restaurant meal and it's fucking McDonald's. They got a Big Mac and they're like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Daddy, daddy, daddy does best. Daddy does best. And he, and he fucking makes a hundred thousand dollars a year and barely pays his fucking child. Uh, what's it called? The, the, the fucking money you give when you don't take care of your kids barely pays that shit on time. That's what Miyamoto does to you. That's what Zelda does to you, bro. I'm just kidding. I do love Zelda is so fucking fun. I'm so excited. I just don't know what I, I like. Why can I? I I guess after you double jump, you're kind of cooked there. But I hold back, and I feel like I should be able to boost backwards. Am I confusing my boost formula this games? Am I expecting this game to allow me too much freedom of movement? Do I actually have to think before I jump because I can't boost back? Because the double jump's not gonna do dick for me. Whatever. What? I just ch shut the fuck. Get back to talking shit about Zelda. Thank you, comments. Thank you. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said, right? I love Zelda. Zelda's so fun, but holy fuck, bro. The community is awful. And then I, I will say, I was one of the hipsters that absolutely... What is wrong with me? What, do I have an aneurysm? Is there an aneurysm happening in my brain right now? Ah, 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 ah. Anyways... Uh, so, you know, you've never seen Zelda fans after a bad game, bro. It's bad. I, w I was one of the hipsters that was like, guys, <laughs> this is not... This game fucking kind of sucks if you played any other Zelda game in your life. But, like, no. No, everyone was me writing it. Because the Zelda community, the Zelda fandom, the, the Zelda, sorry, the Zelda franchise, that's the word I was looking for, is infallible. It doesn't matter how dog shit the game is. Because guess what? Oh, we love Miyamoto. We love Nintendo. We love when they feed me slop after six years. After six years of doing dick. You guys don't understand. You think that your game is always good. Your franchise, your, oh, your oomphy franchise is always going to hit. I'm a Sonic fan. I know shit ain't gonna hit, brother. This is why I've learned to analyze games deeply. This is why I've sat here. I've learned to analyze games. Because you know what? I have to. I have to. So I can fend for myself. So I can fight for my goddamn life. Out here on these streets against these Twitter goons! Cause nobody, nobody wants to believe me that Sonic games can hit. But when I talked about Zelda games being media, when I said Tears of the Kingdom does not hit, do you know what I got in my in my YouTube comments and my replies? Kill yourself in game. Kill yourself in game. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. You have never played a good game to save your life, you Sonic fan. You don't know what you're talking about. I I have been burned so many times. I love Zelda. But when I say a Zelda game didn't hit until that fucking oomphy, I'm sucking this game's dick straight off its body period ends. Do you understand the type of totalitarian regime you're in on social media? You can't say shit in this house. You can't say shit. I cannot say, I cannot say that a Sonic game is gonna be fire until it drops. But if I say I have qualms about about this Zelda game's identity, I, I think potentially they should show more about this Zelda game. So I know what I'm spending $70 on. Do you know what I get? Kill yourself in game. Kill yourself in game. Nintendo fans gotta get that fucking meaty dick out they mouth. They need to fucking they need to whip that shit straight out there. They need to take it out, bro. Cause Miyamoto don't like you. Miyamoto don't like you. He like your money. He like your money. That's why they charge you seventy dollars for a fucking glorified DLC. But y'all ain't ready for that conversation. I'm out here. At least this game didn't cost fucking sixty dollars. At least Sega knew. Wait, this game's kind of fucking trash. And they didn't charge. Fucking a trillion gazillion dollars. By the way, this is so sad. I know I'm talking over it because I'm I'm just spewing nonsense, but 
people really wish that null space is a really cool visual aesthetic and there was a if there was a full level in it it would just it would be cool frame one null space this is still a fun stage especially if you're using the um i probably should have changed my wisp on because it's super fun especially if you're using the the lightning wisp uh but i i for gordy <laughs> My fault, my fault, gang. But it is really cool either way. This is one of the cool examples of how you can utilize, uh, you know, different wists who have a very different experience mid-level. But, I actually do have to bring this up. Apparently, there is actually a way that you can experience the beauty of multiple wispons uh, all, all, all in the same experience. Oh, I'm so cooked, bro. Take me home, please! Okay, sorry. Uh, there is a really cool way that you can experience that. It's just uh, very, like... It's hidden. It's asinine. It's the, it's the fucking rent avatar thing. Like, nobody is gonna fucking... Nobody's renting an avatar. You wanna make an avatar, so you wanna play as your own avatar. Like, no one's gonna fucking use that shit. Uh, so... But you can you can apparently use different Wisp on that way. It's just kinda arbitrary how you have to... <laughs> how you have to get through that. Anyways, fun stage. Uh, this is one of the ones that I think really hits, actually. It's just a really cool rail grinding stage. Anyhow... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, so, y fuck it, get that dick out your mouth, boys. Zelda fans, months later, only after the white boy video essay came out, only after the cracker, I can say that, only after the cracker said that Tears of the Kingdom sucked, Scott the Waz came out with that shit, I'm telling you, this has been s sitting and seething in my mind for so long, only after cracker ass Scott the Waz said it, did people on fucking Oomphy Twitter start saying, well maybe, I, I wasn't super in love with it, you know, I wish there was more continuity, I wish the game didn't suck ass for people that had played any other Zelda game before then, you know, fuck off, fuck you Zelda fans, Fuck you, <laughs> Oomphy Twitter. This is why I ain't playing your bullshit ass games on YouTube.com no more. Fuck you guys. I do really like Zelda. I'm a huge Zelda fan. I've played all the 3D games. I uh, have played a decent amount of the 2D games, at least to some degree. Beaten Link's Awakening, the remake. Whatever. Uh, Link to the Past, uh, I have not beaten actually. I started Link Between Worlds, I've beaten. Fucking love Link Between Worlds. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love Zelda. But Zelda Twitter, get off your high horse, you fucking. For anyways, this was the I hate Nintendo episode, so you're welcome. <laughs> I'm sweaty. I was yelling and ranting so much. Holy fuck! All right, but I, you know, we'll get back into it next video. God damn.